My name is Kevin Jackson, and today I'd like to demonstrate an awesome set of tools for Maya that will make an animator's life much easier. They are called MG Tools, created by Miguel Winfield. Number 1. MG Tools Main UI This is the main interface for MG Tools 2.5. While it appears small, it is actually packed with useful tools and features. The smaller size is designed to save you workspace, and you can minimize it even further for less distraction. In this demo, we'll go over the main features, but I assure you there are tons more features that you can read about in the online manual. Check the description for useful links. By the way, when you purchase MG Tools, you will receive a password to update to 2.5, as well as all future updates. So once you have MG Tools, you have it for life. Anim Rescue. First, let's talk about the biggest pain in the ass for Maya animators. Corrupted Maya files. These accidents happen all the time, such as Maya crash, system crash, and power outage. And when you try to reopen the file, you find it broken, and your keyframes gone. From now on, this is a thing of the past. MG Tools 2.5 provides two rescue features for dealing with this issue. Anim Rescue and MG Autosave. Here we have a scene without any animation. I will quickly add keyframes and explain the benefits of Anim Rescue. This is a real-time backup solution for Maya. It only backs up animation keyframes and constraint nodes once you make a change. No change or creation, no backup. It works seamlessly in the background with no delays to your workflow. Now we are finished with this quick and simple animation. It is time for Maya Murder. We reopen the scene, don't make any changes to the animation, and load the Anim Rescue Automatic Recovery Wizard. Keep clicking the next button and your animation will automatically be recovered. It will do a complete recovery to the last edit made before Maya crashed. There is also an advanced recovery mode, allowing you to do a custom recovery, such as manually picking the rescue point to use. With this tool, it is easy to retrieve lost animation, even if it is broken or overwritten. The second rescue tool is MG Autosave. Its options are almost the same as the autosave feature in Maya. The only difference is it has an option named Scene Directory. This feature is supported for Maya 7.0 and newer. There is one more recovery method called Connection Recovery Mode. It reconnects the stray animation nodes, which have no output connections yet, back to their proper attributes. This could be really helpful when your scene is broken due to some references that can't be loaded. You can open the scene without the reference, and then manually add the same reference and use this to recover the animation. Cam2D Viewer Cam2D Viewer allows you to navigate the viewport in a 2D fashion, just like you might navigate an image in Photoshop. With this tool activated, you are free to zoom in and out, pan around, Box to zoom in and out, rotate to a certain degree, reset that rotation, and you can reset all other changes made by this tool in one go. By default, this tool will reset all camera changes before you save a scene, which keeps your camera safe. Graph Editor Plugin Animators spend a lot of time in the graph editor. MG Tools introduces a handy plugin which sits right in the graph editor. With this plugin, you can filter channels to show only translation, rotation, or scale. You can also filter channels in the Maya channel box or the MG channel box. Click this default button in Maya to reset the channel display. Other useful tools include resetting the selected key values to their default value, aligning the selected key values to their respective previous and next values, curve auto smoothing, and with this vertical slider and in between pose based on a certain percentage value can be made very quickly. If you click the OS button, it will create extreme values instead. This plugin does not auto load by default. To change that, you can click the auto load box in MG Tools config. Animation transfer and animation library. MG Tools provides lots of tools to deal with animation transferring. You can use the Selection Manager to copy animation from one rig to another within a scene. First, it will transfer the selection order from one rig to another. 
Then you can use the copy and paste animation button to transfer animations. To transfer animation between different scenes, you can use Copy Paste Pro. Select the nodes you want to copy, click the copy button, and in the other scene, select the same number of objects and paste it in. You can use the MG Clipboard feature to ensure the two selections have the same number and the same order. And now my personal favorite, the Animation Library. With this tool, you can build a library of motion, such as walk cycles or certain actions, and reuse them at any time. By the way, you can back up your animations with your scene at any time. To do so, use the Backup Restore Animation feature. DB Manager MG Tools provides a small asset manager tool called DB Manager. It is really handy in a layout workflow. You can't actually change or edit your network database, but you can navigate quickly and use them in your scene. It is pretty easy to gather the DB information for DB Manager by batch scanning a directory in the server to find all Maya files. It is also able to scan a directory to look for the thumbnail images for these Maya files. The tool will automatically match the image and the Maya file together for you to navigate in the future. You can reference or import them multiple times, and the option for these actions just follows the corresponding options you set in Maya. Snapping. Another favorite of mine are the snapping tools built into MG Tools. The most popular snap feature is the PO Snap Forward, which is also known as Feet Snap. When you are animating a walk cycle, chances are you will have lots of sliding feet to clean up. This is where the snap feature comes into play. Select the foot control, go to the first frame you want it to stick, and press the button. Keep pressing the button until you reach the last frame, and that's it. Now the feet plant firmly on each step. You can use this motion snapping tool whenever you want something to stick, such as a hand on a table. There are lots of other snapping features such as point snap, orient snap, and relative snap, which keeps a certain offset while doing the motion snapping. It is kind of like mimicking a parent constraint with an offset using keyframes. Path Tracker Path Tracker is a tool for displaying the motion path of an animated object. Pick an animated object and load it in, the tool will draw a curve with frame ticks for you. But as you may notice, the camera is in motion as well, so the motion path is moving in the viewport too. To avoid that and see the clean motion path from this camera view, you can link the camera to that track item in the UI, so you are able to know exactly how the object moves in this particular view and it updates pretty fast without playing back through the timeline to make an update. Through this single UI, it is possible for you to manage all the path tracker issues in your scene really quickly and easily, just like managing a display layer in Maya's layer editor. Selection. There are lots of features dealing with many kinds of selection in MG Tools. MG Selection Set Tool. This tool allows you to store selection sets and reuse them whenever you want. Compared to using a mail shelf as a selector, it is much easier to create and edit an MG selection set. There are two display modes, long list mode and shelf display mode. You can add selection, exclude selection, and transfer selection. It is even possible to isolate a set. If you still prefer shelf selection, you can use this tool to quickly create a selection set and save it to the shelf and vice versa. If you want to do a more complex selection, you may need to use the Selection Manager. It is an editor that enables you to temporarily record the current selection in the list. And then you can add, subtract, compare, and transfer the selection between different rigs. Also, you can store a selection list with your Maya scene and reuse it whenever you open that scene. Next is the MG Type Selector. With this tool, you can search your scene and select any or all objects that meet a certain condition. You can easily pick all keyframed objects, constrained objects, hidden objects, and so on. It supports the Maya filter type as well. If you want to find all the keyframed objects within a rig hierarchy, then the Keyframe Probe tool will be perfect. It finds all the keyframed objects in your rig based on the options you select. Now you can easily select them and edit animation. MG Channel Box 
Now let's take a look at your new best friend, the MG Channel Box. What makes this channel box so handy are not only these tiny buttons at the bottom, but also the eight marking menus that come with it. Press the right mouse button, drag right and release to keyframe certain channels. Drag left and release to remove that keyframe. And drag down and release to reset channels to their default values. There are lots of other features in this right click marking menu, such as transferring values between different scenes. There are many other shortcuts to other frequently accessed Maya features and MG tools as well, such as hide or display layers quickly, and create a properly named layer to hide the current selection. Set current render layer really quickly. Get access to MG tools constraint features. Quickly open editors. Create and edit attributes. And use all MG tools snapping features. Constraint. MG Tools includes a special UI which provides lots of constraint tools. It includes quick access to all frequently used constraints, such as quickly constrain the parent hierarchy for your second selection. There are special constraint tools built in as well, such as Anim Constraint, which gives you extra hierarchy to tweak animation besides the constraint. Vertex Constraint and UV Constraint, which constrains your objects onto the surface of a model. These constraints use default nodes provided by Maya. Constraint Management. It also provides you with a Constraint Lister tool, so you can easily select Constraint Master via Constraint Slave and vice versa. You can also edit parent constraint offsets after you create them. It is also able to export and import constraint offsets between different scenes, which kind of enables you to do the constraint transferring because you can easily recreate a constraint, but you need the same offset value to make them identical. Shelf Tools MG Shelf is a floating shelf collector. It can be resized and placed anywhere you like. It is easy to put your shelves in the MG Shelf UI or reinstall them back to the Maya Shelf. You can manage them quickly through the manager. You are also able to access all the shelves through right-clicking on the MG Shelf icon. MG Tools also provides a mini tool which converts shell files from higher Maya versions to lower ones. After conversion, the lower Maya version can use the shell files from the higher version. Miscellaneous Switch Tools MG Tools contains many kinds of switch tools. View Switch With this tool you can quickly switch your viewport configuration between two or three customizable configs. It is quick and convenient to use before doing a play blast. Smooth Switch with Smooth Switch, you can quickly switch all the PolySmooth node division values. It is useful when you have tons of PolySmooth nodes and you want to switch them in one go. Camera Switch. Here you can switch the camera in the currently activated viewport. It is easy to be configured. Attribute Switch. This will help you switch attributes without any popping, such as the follow body or not follow attribute. HUD. If you need screen information, MG Tools offers highly configurable HUD tools. You are able to customize seven different types of HUD in eight different screen areas. This includes frame count, username, scene name, camera name, current date, time code, and any string. Notice that all HUD types can be customized with color and font size. You can also save your configure for later use or for sharing with your animation team and pipeline. There's also a mini tool called Frame Annotation which creates a frame count annotation object which can be placed anywhere in your viewport. Shortcuts MG Tools supports two kinds of shortcuts, folder and file. With the folder shortcut, you can access any frequently used directory of your choice. And with the file shortcut, you can load any frequently used file or program just by clicking the button on the menu. Pivot Tool With the Pivot Tool, you are able to keyframe an object's pivot position without any popping. Even if your rig doesn't provide you the ability to keyframe the pivot, this makes it possible for the animator to do so during the animation phase. Like many other tools, the Pivot Tool provides a manager to help you keep track of all the pivot rigs in your scene. Keyframe Tool There are lots of features to help deal with keyframes. With Set Key Tool, you can keyframe each key or between certain frames. The timing tool can retime your animation both in an absolute way and a relative way. With the BD tool, 
you can add in-between poses as well as extreme poses with a value that is of a certain percentage between the previous and the next key values. Tangent Tool allows you to switch between tangent types without opening the graph editor. It provides many different ways to do that. With the Scale Animation Tool, you can change animation from one frame rate to another without changing the speed. The Animation Snapping Tool helps you bring some tricky non-integer keys to integer frames while trying to maintain the animation as best it can. Make Sticky There are two kinds of sticky tools, Make It Sticky and Make Sticky View. With Make It Sticky, you can stick objects to your viewport, such as a facial panel, for the facial animation. With Make Sticky View tool, you can quickly create a camera view and the viewport will only focus and follow the object you selected before you use the tool. You may need this tool to check certain parts of your character. Miscellaneous Tools MG Timer This can be used as a timer and a converter to record and convert timing under different frame rates. It's also a pretty handy calculator. MB MBA converter converts the current Miocene between MB and MA format by force. Super Undo Redo tool helps you undo or redo some operations really quickly. It will skip any null undo items in the undo skew. With Relocator tool, you can relocate multiple objects with a single temporary hierarchy. When you finish relocating, the change will be added to current keyframes. The Insert Hierarchy tool inserts unlimited numbers of hierarchies between the current selection and its parent hierarchy for animation tweak purposes. With the Reference tool, you are able to transfer reference information between different Miocenes. Sometimes it is easier to manage reference via scene selection by using this tool. There are still lots of other tools and features that have not been discussed in this video. You can check them out using the online documentation on Miguel's website. Also, you can right-click on each tool in the MG Tools UI and access the corresponding tool manual. And don't forget, using the online update feature, you will be able to keep MG Tools up to date with the latest and greatest bug fixes and tool additions. Thanks for watching.